Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to, to Puan and all my friend. Today we are going to present our PBL about Padidi Hodim Perhat and Atu Maju Resources Perhat. We have chosen Padini and ARB to do comparison. We have put logo to help audience have clear visual. Below, we add this link to get detailed information. Okay, for the type of business, Padini Holding Berhad is a fashion industry and beside that, uh, the Padini also have ventured into the food and beverage industry with C Cafe in 2000 in Brunei. And for the AR ARB Berhad, it's a, it's a company that involved with the Internet of Things with IoT and number two is a Enterprise Resources Planning ERP and the last one is a re in Energy Solution. For the first corporate structure that uh, I will explain about the Padini Holding Berhad, Padini has uh, invest 100% for each company under them. Okay, uh, we, next we go through about the corporate structure of the ARB Berhad. Okay, as we know, the main is the ARB Berhad. They are investment holding and provision of the management services. Okay, uh, for theory for Padini Holding Berhad, uh, I found that uh, the company was used Asian family based model because uh, in company they have a family relationship which is uh, they have a husband and wife, son and also a niece and for the ARB Berhad uh, is uh, that what I found uh, the company was used to the model uh, which is made for Ger German model. Code of Corporate Governance uh, from Pandini Holding Berhad, they already used Malaysian Code of Corporate Governance MCCG 2017, which is to ensure the fulfillment of the highest standard of corporate governance as a set out in the Malaysian Code of, Code of Corporate Governance or the codes or MCCG and it is proactive to ensure principles and recommendations are practiced through the group. Okay. Move to the ARB Berhad, same like Pandini, they also use Malaysian Corp Code of Corporate Governance MCCG 2017. Okay, they are code to ensure that the standard of corporate governance are being observed through the group with the ultimate objective of enhancing, uh, enhancing long-term shareholders' value and return to our, return to our stakeholders. Okay, from the table below, we can we can see the board of director from Panini Holding Berhad and ARB Berhad. Okay, from the table be, uh, below, also we summarize all the uh, member of the all the board of members in the Panini Berhad, also the ARB Berhad. Okay, which is Panini Holding Berhad, they have nine member of board, which is six executive di director and three independent non-executive director. While ARB Berhad has seven members of board, which is one independent one independent non-executive chairman, one managing director, three three executive director, two and the last one is two independent non-executive director. So you guys can see the name on the table below. And then we proceed to the Padini Holding Berhad. Uh, for the first, uh, is about composition of the board. For the number one, at least two, di two director or one per three of each member, whichever number is the higher, must be independent director. For number two, at least two director or one per three of each member, whichever number is the higher, and it must be a female. Uh, for number three, in the event of uh, any vacancy in the board, 
resulting in the non-compliance with any of the above, the vacancy must be filled within three months. Uh, number four, the office of a director uh, shall, uh, shall become vac vacant if a director become of unsound mind, bankrupt, convicted according to the law of Malaysia for any criminal act is absent for more than 50% of the total board meeting held during any one financial year resigned by notice in writing become prohibited from being a director by reason of any order made under the provision uh, of existing or contravenous shape Section 198 of existing. Uh, for number 5 is a uh, no person who has been convicted by a court of law of a criminal offence, whether in Malaysia or uh, elsewhere, uh, shall be appointed director. And for the last is a uh, number 6, no, dir no director uh, shall hold more than 5 directorship in listed issue on the Bursa Malaysia. And then we proceed to responsibility of board for Padini. For number one is a uh, the uh, board must review and adopting a strategy plan for the group. Number two is a uh, overseeing management performance to evaluate if the business is properly managed. Number three is a uh, identify principal risk of the group business and ensuring that system are in place to monitor and manage the risk. Number four is uh, implementing succession succession plannings. And number five, if uh, developing and implementing a shareholder communication policy for the group. And the last one is a uh, review the ad adequate and the integrity of the group management information and internal control system to ensure that there is a sound framework of reporting on internal controls and regulatory compliance. Okay, next we continue about the ARB Berhad. So we will know about the composition and also the responsibility of the board. Okay, for the board composition, the listing requirement to have at least two or one tree of its member make up of independent non-executive director. The combinations to uh, the combin combination of deserved professionals with variety background, experience and expertise in finance and corporate affairs have also enabled the board to discharge its responsibility effectively and efficiently. The board, through the nomination committee, regularly review the composition of the board and the board's committee. There is also a balance in the board with the presence of three independent non-executive directors of the necessary calibre and calibre and experience to carry sufficient weight in the board decisions. Okay, uh, you can you guys can see uh, the point number five, the role the role of. The independent non-executive director is particularly important in providing an independent view, advice and judgment to take it account in the interests of group, shareholder, employees and communities in which the group conduct its business. And the last one is, the board does not intend to identify a senior independent non-executive director to whom concern may be conveyed by shareholder and the general public the chairman of the board encourages the active part participant of each and every board member in the decision-making processes. Next, we proceed about the responsibility of the board. Okay, so the first one is to provide leadership of the board. Second, to oversee the board in effective discharge of its fiduciary duties. To promote constructive and respectful relation between the board members and the, between the board and management to ensure efficient, efficient and effective conduct of the board meeting. To brief all the director in relation to issue arising at meeting. To schedule regular and effective evaluation of the board performance. And the last one, to commit time necessary to dis discharge effectively his role as a chairman. 
Okay, there are three main principles for Padidi Hodim Berhad and also the ARB Berhad. So, the principle A is the board leadership and effectiveness. Principle B, effective audit and risk management. And the last but not least, principle C, integrity in corporate reporting and meaningful relationship with the stakeholder. A for the principle A is a board leadership and effectiveness. Okay, uh, first we were going through to the board charter and the code of the board. For the Padini Holding Merhat, for number one is the board charter is update taking into account the require requirement, the group as well as any development in regulation and relevant law may affect the duties and responsibility of the board. For number two is a uh, committed to conducting business in accordance with the highest standard of business, acting and complying with applicable law, rules and regulations. From this board charter and code of the board about the ARB Bahad, this board charter service service as a sources reference and primary induction literature providing insight to existing and prospective board members to, to assist the board in the performance of their fiduciary duty as a director of the company. It will also assist the board in the assessment of its own performance and of its individual director. For the number two is a uh, roles and responsibility of the board. For the Padini Holding Berhad, number one is a uh, establish and review, review the group long-term directions through formulation of business objective and strategy. For number two is a uh, approving the group annual business plan, annual budget and carry out predict review of the achievement by the various operation divisions. For number three is a uh, from promoting a sound corporate governance culture and number four is uh, ensuring the group has appropriate business risk management process and number five is the ensuring that there is in place an appropriate sessions plan for member of the board and senior management and the last one is uh, to be accountable to each shareholder and stakeholder who may be affected by the group decisions. Now, we proceed about the roles and responsibility of ARB Bahad, which is a difference between the, uh, uh, the roles and responsibility, responsibility between the Pandini and ARB. The first one is to review and approve the annual corporate plan for the groups. Uh, okay, the second one is to also to review and approve strategic initiatives, including corporate businesses, recruiting or streamlining and strategic allies, Number three, oversee the conduct of the group businesses to evaluate whether the businesses are being properly managed. Manage. The number four, to ensure that company has appropriate corporate governance structure in place, including standard of, of ethical behavior and promoting a culture of corporate responsibility. And the last one, approve the appointments, resign, resignations, or remove of company secretaries of the company. And then we proceed to the principle B, which is effective, effective audit and risk management. Okay, uh, for the one, for the number one is I will elaborate about the audit committee for the Padini Holding Berhad. Uh, for number one is uh, to provide as assistance to the board of directors in overseeing the financial reporting process, monitoring the accuracy and integrity of the group annual and quarterly financial statement. For number two is review and evaluate the per performance of external audit and internal audit. And for the last one is uh, they have a three independent non-executive director. Now, the ARB Bahad audit committee is about the uh, is about the board have delegated certain function to certain committees with each operation within a clearly defined term and reference the board has established the following committee to assist the board in the executions of its duty which is audit committee remuneration committee and also the nomination committee the chairman of the relevant board committee will report to the board on the key issues deliberated by the board committees at the board meeting. 
And then for the number two is a risk management and internal control for padini holding berhad. Number one is a padini with a with place uh, placed risk management and internal control system which enable management to identify, access, proprieties and manage risk on a continuous and systematic basis. Uh, for the number two is the group risk management and internal control system are designed to efficiently and effectively to manage risk and to provide information for accurate reporting and ensure compliance with regulatory and statutory requirements. And for number three is a group will introduce a new enterprise risk management. Uh, it's called a ERM framework for the group. And for the number four is a it will have update risk management policy and guideline and the risk appetite for the groups. And I will explain about the ARB Bahad. So the board together with the assistant assistant of external professional internal audit auditors adopted ongoing monitoring and reviewing to the existing risk management processes in the place within the various businesses operation with the aim of formalizing the risk management function across the group. Okay, this function also acts as a source to assist the audit committee and the board to strengthen and improve current management and operating styles in pursuit of the best practice. The point number three, significant businesses risk faced by the group are identified and evaluated consideration is given on the potential impact of achieving the business objective. Uh, number four, this includes uh, examining principal businesses risk in critical area, uh, assessing the likelihood of material exposure exposures and identifying the measure taken by mitigate, avoid or eliminate eliminate this risk. The last but not least, the board of directors acknowledge its responsibility for the company to maintain a sound system of internal control covering financial, operation and compliance control and the safeguard shareholder investment as well as the group asset. And then we will proceed to the principle C, uh, which is the last principle. Uh, it's about integrity in corporate reporting and meaningful relationship with the stakeholder. Uh, for the Padini Holding Berhad, which uh, we have two, uh, which is communication with stakeholder and conduct of general meeting. Uh, I will elaborate first about the com communication with stakeholder. Um, the board strive to maintain an open and transparent channel of communication with its stake shareholder, institutional, institutional investor and the investing public, uh, which is uh, number one is uh, the, the various private and group meeting with financial analysis, fund meeting managers, private and institutional investor. For number two is uh, the various disclosure and announcement on Bursa Securities website, including quarterly and annual result. And for number three is the annual report. And for the last one is the in the AJM. And then I will explain about the conduct of general meeting, which is uh, I've had um, separate into a tree, which is general meeting, shareholder and director. For the general meetings, uh, it remains a uh, channel of communication with group shareholder and a private investor. Besides that, it also ensures the suitability of venue and timing meeting. And in general meeting, Shareholder are given opportunity to seek clar clarification any pertaining business activity for the shareholder. Shareholder will entitled to appoint proxy to vote on their behalf in the absence, and shareholder also group ensure that through polling agent or valid proxy representative appointment are properly received and recorded. And for the director. 
we require pre prepare financial statement for each financial year with the true and fair at the end of the year. Director also follow accounting standard in Malaysia. And lastly, that is a director should uh, responsibility taking safeguard asset of the group to prevent and detect fraud. In ARB Bahad, so the communication with the stakeholder, okay, the board recognise the importance of keeping the shareholders informed and updated of development concerning the group. Okay, the group straight adheres to the disclosure requirement of Bursa Security. The group also practice open communication with its investor and then in order to maintain its commitment or effective communication with the stakeholder, the group embrace the practice of comprehensive, timely and continuing disclosure of information to its shareholders as well as the general investing public. And the last but not least, the practice of disclosure of information is to adopt the best practices recommended in the MCCG with regard to strengthening engagement and communication with shareholders it is not only established just to comply with the listing requirement. For the number one, I will explain about the whistleblowing in the Padini Holding Berhad. And for the point, num point number one is uh, uh, whistleblowing uh, is a program which protect all employees of Padini Ber Holding Berhad and also protect its subsid subsidiaries and other related party with a business relationship with the company. Uh, for the point number two, uh, uh, which is uh, about the areas of whistleblowing, um, which is a criminal breach of trust, fraudulent financial reporting, any act of dishonesty or fraudulent practices, Misstatement arise from any form of misappropriations, illegal activities, violation of existing law and or legal requirement, expenditure, acceptance of any form of benefits, acceptance of kickback, bribes and like form of the inducements. And that's for number two. For number three is a uh, Punishment to offender um, that we can know is a uh, dismiss, demotions, intimidation, harsh mistreatments, and or any other form of pun punishment, disciplinary actions, or deny ben benefit and welfare. Uh, for number four is a uh, whistleblowing. Uh, actually, is a uh, free to bring the complaint or suspected case to the department manager uh, or head of group human resource and training manager or executive director or managing director. That's all for the whistleblowing and Padini Holding Berhad. Now, we want to know about the whistleblowing, whistleblowing on ARB Berhad. Okay, on ARB Berhad, the whistleblowing is to provide an avenue for all employees of the group and members of the public to disclosure any improper conduct in accordance with the procedure as provided for under this policy and to provide protection for employees and members of the public who report such of allegations. Okay. Under the whistleblowing uh, for Ayah for Bahani, under, under the explanation, we will need to know about the definition of the misconduct that have been used on the whistleblowing in on ARB Berhad, which is uh, misconduct is the an improper conduct is any acts or omission which is which if proven will constitute an act misconduct pursuant to the group code of conduct and ethic and or a criminal offences under the relevant law enforced and may be divided into the following category which is be divided on be divided in five category which is general misconduct unlawful or illegal conduct or intentions uh, um, unprocedural conduct or act, conflict of interest and the last one is ethical conduct. Okay, 
Under the whistle blowing of ARB Bahad, they have their own policy which is be committed to the company business ethic of honesty, integrity and transparency. They, the, they also to provide a transparent and confidential process for all parties to give information on non-compliance to the con Code of Ethics and Conduct or any misconduct regardless of his or her position to an independent party to investigate an allegation and take the appropriate action to uphold the moral duty being a company by protecting of the by protecting the interests of all the stakeholders. The last but not least, we we need to know about the protection to the whistleblower that used on ERB Berhad, which is they have Four protection that they are uh, they use, which is the first one, only genuine concern are reported and the report is made in good faith with a reasonable belief that the information and any allegation in its uh, sustainability true and the whistleblower does not provide false or misleading information no knowingly, neg negligently or recklessly in the report. The number two, the disclosure, the disclosure is not made with malicious intent or ill will. Uh, the third protection is the disclosure is not frivolous or vexatious, vexatious. And the last one is the report is not made for personal gain or agenda. That's all from our presentations about the pandemic and also the ARB Bahad. So, if you guys have any other question, you guys can ask after this. After this. So, have a nice day. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.